Hello and welcome back to a new Red Dead video. I'm joined by none other than Vegan. How does it feel to be part of the Red Dead universe now? I'm catching the stars. Vegan then tried to lasso me, so I had to show him who's in charge. Ah! Let me let me tell them what we're gonna do. No. Fine. What? Okay, we're gonna be alcoholics today and find some alcohol bottles. So let's just get going. Actually, let's not go quite yet. First, we have to make Vegan a proper part of the Red Dead Online community. So I baptize him. At least that's what people did to me when I first started playing. So I think that's like a tradition. We have to sacrifice you to the water again. Okay. The <laughs> They're drowning him. No, no, no. Oh God. No, no, no. Please stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm free! I found this man tied up on this bridge near the train rail. So he was obviously gonna get chopped in pieces by the train. But before that, I could take his wallet because dead men use no wallets. Unfortunately for me, the train never arrived. So I just decided to give him a flying lesson so he could fly up to the sky. Or dive straight to hell, depending on how you want to see it. But then something weird happened. Turns out, the train drove past me while I was busy throwing this little shit away. I guess it was the Hogwarts Express or something, and I'm a mogul, because I definitely could not see that train. The first bottle was a strawberry, which rhymes with robbery, which I'm gonna do to Vegan later. It's just down here, so just follow my voice. Here it is. Who the fuck has been sitting and drinking here? It's kind of a nice spot, actually. No! I why? Unfortunately, I'm not the only one in Strawberry with intent of griefing Vegan. Luckily, I'm way higher level than him, so I did absolutely destroy him. The next bottle was up in the mountains, and that's when I found my opportunity to tell Vegan about horse balls in this game, because they turn smaller when it's cold. Vegan then made the excuse that it's always cold whenever he takes a dick pic. Sure it is. The third bottle was at this very nice bridge. And I mean, just look at the way down there. It just looks perfect for throwing your friends. So that's exactly what I do. I'm Don't you just throw down it? <laughs> <laughs> then Vegan tries to lasso me for some reason, thinking he's some sort of Red Dead Online god. Luckily, I quickly break free and show him who's the boss once more. Well, at least I tried, but I ended up punching my horse in the face. Mistakes happen, I guess. And talk about mistakes, no, I'm not meaning Vegan's life. He managed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> the next bottle was in Van Horn. But then I saw this and I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking psycho. Believe it or not, but it was actually Vegan that found a bottle this time. I'm so proud of him. Vegan then manages to piss some NPCs off, so I have to slaughter the entire town of Van Horn. Not that I mind it, because it's a pretty bad town. Now, if you've played the story, you know that after every mass murder comes a bang your riding compilation with good music. Vegan then happily contributes to my science project. Can you feed people to alligators in Red Dead? I've had some tries previously in the story mode, but I've not had no luck. So let's try it here. Commencing alligator test one. Do they eat players? Just walking away. Wait, no, don't give up yet, Vegan. I'm not pulling. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going just from side to side. Okay, there's now there's gonna from be two at this, side. Pool, this spot. So throw me to them. Now, oh yeah, this one's side hungry. To side, side, side to side. What the hell is the problem with these alligators? They're just not hungry. Ah no! 
<laughs> this shit always happens to me. I think it's too early to come to a conclusion yet, but so far it doesn't look good. You can't feed people to alligators. But I'm not giving up quite yet, so I'll continue to feed people to alligators until I get a positive result. Whoa. Look, it's basement. That's where oh. I keep my kids. Full disclosure here. I'm only 17, so they're not my kids. I found it. The final bottle. It's here in the closet. It's in the closet. So it must be a vodka cranberry. Then we ride to Madame Nassar. Because... We just need money. When we're done selling the bottles, we see the ominous thunder, which is a pretty good warning for what's to come. See? Even Reddit Online is poetical. We got people. No! Griefers! What happened next was an epic battle where we absolutely destroyed these people. They just stood no chance and definitely did not beat us up every single time. Now leave a like and subscribe or I will grief you too. You have to watch my video, you have to watch my video and like and subscribe.